In today's video, I'm going to go through four different ways that you can utilize the power of the most visited website in the entire world, which is Google, when it comes to helping you make money online with a dropshipping business. And the reason why I personally believe in the power of using Google is because I was able to take one of my first ever Shopify stores from around 10,000 pounds in sales to over 100,000 pounds, then eventually 200,000 pounds in sales, so on and so forth by using various different features of Google. So I'm sure if you watch this whole video from start to finish, you're gonna be able to learn something that's gonna potentially change your entire life. So as always, I don't wanna waste any more time and I wanna get right into it. So if you find any value in this video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. All right, so jumping straight into one of the first ways that you can utilize the power of Google is by simply using this feature over here called Google Trends. And for those of you that don't know exactly how you can use this, it's simply a way for you to see the search data and see any trends when it comes to specific keywords that people are tapping in to Google. And by by using this tool, you're going to be able to find various different winning products. And you're also going to be able to see products that are maybe worth staying away from. So for example, if I just type in a random product that just came to my head, which is Bluetooth headset, as you can see, I set the filter to the United States. I've also set it to 2004 to present day. And straight away, you guys can see that there's a clear downtrend in terms of the amount of people that have been going onto Google ever since 2007 to search for Bluetooth headsets. And I'm sure just by looking at this chart, if you was considering to build an entire Shopify store or any dropshipping or e-commerce business around Bluetooth headsets, you're most likely going to stay away from it because there's no point investing your time, energy and money building an entire brand around a product that a lot of people are showing less interest in year after year. But the beauty of using something like Google Trends is that you're also going to be able to find winning products. Like for example, there's this keyword over here, which is ceiling light bulbs. And I've set the filters exactly the same as the last one. And as you can see, ever since 2009, there's been more and more people that are interested in this particular keyword. Not only that, if we scroll down over here, Google's also going to be able to show us related search terms that people are typing in when it comes to the most popular keyword that we're looking at. In this case, ceiling light bulbs. We can see that ceiling fan lights are also being searched for fan light bulbs. All of these keywords are very popular and ultimately it's going to help us when it comes to getting an idea of exactly which winning products we can add to our store. Because for example, if we just copy ceiling fan light and go over to a website like AliExpress and just paste it in there just like that and click on search, it's going to be a simple job of us scrolling through this page, finding the best type of item, adding it to our store and then sitting back and waiting for the sales to start rolling in. And this actually now brings me on to the second way that you can use Google when it comes to making money online with a dropshipping business is simply by using Google Shopping. And for those of you that don't know exactly what this is, the way that it works is that customers will come onto here just like this and type in any item that they're searching for. So if we stick with the same example that we've been talking about this whole video, which is light bulb, at the top right here, all of these different products are going to be showcased for the customer to buy. Or what they can do from this point is click on the actual shopping tab. Now it is important for you to be aware of the fact that all of these different stores that are advertising all of these different products, some of them are paying for them to be here and others are here for completely free. So you can use Google shopping ads if you do want to increase your chances of having your products showcased right here whenever a customer types in a related keyword or what you can do is make sure that you've optimized your website in a way that whenever Google's scrolling through it they're going to be more likely to want to present your items here because you've done everything right and to give you an example of the things that you need to make sure that you're doing for you to increase your chances of having your products on Google you need to make sure that you're using a white background on all of your images if I just jump back onto Google Shopping as you can clearly see majority of all of these different items and all of these different main images have a white background this is something that I learned in the early days of me trying to run Google Shopping ads, which is that you need to make sure that you're using a white background. Otherwise, your product isn't going to be accepted. And one of the next things that you need to do is make sure that you've got all of your different policy pages and your contact details for your business clearly stated on your dropshipping website. And when I say policy pages, these are things like your shipping policy, refund policy, privacy policy, your terms and conditions. If you don't have all of these different pages clearly stated on your website for customers to see, then they're not gonna put your products on the shopping tab. You also need to make sure that your website is actually fully working. And when I say fully working, you need to make sure that all of the links are working, all of the pages are working. Just generally speaking, you just need to make sure that you go through your website and make sure that everything is optimized and working as it should. And finally, you just need to make 
make sure that the products that you're looking to sell are even allowed to be put on the Google Shopping page. Because if you wasn't aware, there's actually some items that are banned. Like for example, if I just jump onto this page over here, things like tickets, things like vehicles, financial products, eBooks, currencies, services. There's so many different items that are not allowed when it comes to you increasing your chances of being able to get your products showcased right here for you to start generating sales. So just make sure that you go through this page, make sure that you do your research and just make sure that you do everything else when it comes to giving yourself the best chance of getting accepted so that you're going to be able to start generating revenue from your dropshipping business. And this now brings me on to the third way that you're going to be able to use Google when it comes to making money with a dropshipping store is by using search ads. And this works in a different way to the shopping ads that I just showed you a moment ago. So if I just jump onto the homepage just like this and type in a random item, so I've just typed in dog jacket right there and as you guys are already aware this top section right here is the shopping ads so of course the customer can scroll through and see all of these different images and look at all of these different items and click into the store however if we scroll down slightly wherever it says sponsored over here all of these different websites have paid Google for them to be at the top of the search results and I'm sure by looking at this alone I don't even really need to go into too much details as to how beneficial it is for you to be at the top of the results for a popular keyword because a lot of customers will see your website at the top and many of them are not going to realize that you pay to be there. A large percentage are going to assume that you naturally rose to the top of the results, which means that you must be a trustworthy company. And for those of you that don't really know exactly how to set up a search ad or a shopping ad, it's very simple. All you need to do is go over to this website over here, which is ads.google.com. And then you're going to have to go through the process of signing up and registering your account. You're also going to have to do a lot of other stuff when it comes to connecting your Shopify store to your Google ad account. But once you have gone through that entire process and you've got your account, you're going to see this page right here when it comes to setting up a new campaign and from this point Google's going to ask you if you want to set up a search ad performance max display shopping etc etc but the two main ones that I've used with my Shopify dropshipping stores is search ads and shopping ads all right so moving on to the fourth and final way that I'm going to discuss in this video when it comes to utilizing Google when it comes to getting customers onto your website which is by rising in the search results organically and there's so many different ways that you can do SEO which is search engine optimization for you to get your website ranked on the first page of Google but one of the ways that you can get your website on the first page of Google if you are a complete beginner in the easiest way possible is by writing blog articles and this is the reason why I actually like Shopify because they've got the blog section right here in the back end of your account because all you need to do is come over to this section over here where it says online store then you're going to see blog post and then from here it's going to be a case of you writing your article in this section over here and you're also going to be able to insert all of the keywords that you need to all of the metadata in this section over here and the beauty of publishing articles on a consistent basis on your Shopify dropshipping website is that you're going to be able to answer potential customers questions because millions of people are going onto Google on a daily basis to type in a specific question for a specific problem that they have and within that article you can now place various different links to the products that you're selling and just to give you an example of an e-commerce store that's doing this right now as we speak I've just jumped onto Google and typed in which light bulb is the best one and let's say if I was a potential customer that just wanted information what I may do is just scroll down just like this and click on any one of these different blog articles so I might just click into this one and as you can see they're giving me a lot of information about different types of light bulbs and different things I need to know however if we look at this section over here it says browse our range of domestic light bulbs so if I just click into this from here they've now led me back to all of the different light bulbs that they're selling and because I'm interested in these particular items I can now easily add it to the basket and buy it if I wanted to so getting your website ranked on Google organically is one of the best things that you should do with your dropshipping or e-commerce website because those articles are always going to be there and of course you're going to need to update them every so often but the more articles that you're able to publish the better chances you're going to get for you to get customers onto your website for completely free now if you're enjoying this video so far don't forget to press the like button i really appreciate that thank you so much don't forget to subscribe as well and hit the bell notification and if you also want to watch another youtube video that i made not too long ago where i break down the top 10 winning products that i believe any beginner can start selling on google right now then make sure you click the link right there check that out straight after this one because it's already helped out so many people and i'm sure that it's going to help you out too all right guys i'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace